So when I was making this video, I was looking at this, which is the symbol for Ireland and the UK. So I assumed that when I made the full list of all of the ones that fell under this category, I thought I had 31. But looking into them a bit more, see headquartered in Dublin, the currency is in dollars, Kingspan Group. It's in Euro, but it says UK, and it's headquartered in Ireland. So I'm not sure how much relevance this has. I'm not sure at all. I mean, maybe the London Stock Market or London Stock Exchange, but there's no, there's no real indication of what the difference is because I had 31 that had this, the IE. So I assumed that was 31 stocks that were based in Ireland, but. Out of the full list, there's five that are actually headquartered in Ireland, and one of them is in dollars. I've got some from Austria, some from the London Stock Exchange, some from Germany, some from Belgium. I've got some from the Netherlands, and I have one from Switzerland, but they all have this IE. So I'm not sure. But anyway, these are the ones that are in Euro. Now this says the UK, so... I don't know. In Euro and headquartered in Ireland. And this one is headquartered in Ireland, but it's in dollars. And the symbol says Ireland. So, I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out. So, the only ones that I can comfortably say are my Irish dividend stocks, are these five. First of which is U Grove Real Estate Investment Trust. Ticker symbol is YEW. It's about one euro per share at the moment. And when I put the amount of money I have in, so it was about three euro, I had one euro in it, and then the other two took like a couple of weeks to go in. So it's not exactly liquid at the moment. It's in the real estate operations industry, and it's an Ireland-based company that operates as a real estate investment trust, which is a REIT. Dividend yield of 5.25%. And at the moment, I have not received a dividend from them. But I think they're supposed to pay every quarter. I've only had them for a little while. Next is Seagate Technology. Ticker symbol is STX. It's close to $84 per share at the moment. It's headquartered in Ireland. And it's a provider of electronic electronic data storage technology and solutions. Dividend yield is 3.09%. And I have not received... Oh, I have actually. We have one. I've received a dividend for $0.05 cents in American dollars per share. And it pays a dividend every quarter. So it's in the computer storage devices industry. There's a nice 40,000 employees. The next is Kingspan Group. Ticker symbol is KGP. Trading for close to 96 euro per share at the moment. It's in the construction services industry. And it's an Ireland based company that provides insulation and building envelope solutions. That's actually a good addition for my house building stocks. It's probably in their construction services. So dividend yields is a very low 0.42% at the moment. And I think with Kingspan Group, I have not received a dividend, but they're supposed to pay one twice a year. The next is Glonbia, ticker symbol GLB, trading for close to 15 euro per share at the moment. And over the long term, it's kind of consolidated around this price. But as I've said in previous videos, you have to check the full history of the stock. This will just be trading 212's history of the stock. So you need to go get the full one from a separate source. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so it's in the food processing industry. And it's a consumer non-cyclical stock. It's a global nutrition company. Dividend yield of 1.76%. 
and I think Plan B are supposed to pay a semi-annual dividend, but I have not received one as of yet. And the last is Bank of Ireland. Ticker symbol is BIRG. So it's about five euro per share at the moment. I got in. Oh, I got in on a nice little dip. But this history only goes back to June twentieth of this year. So I'm sure the long term history is quite different. That's in the regional banks industry. It's an Ireland based financial services company. There's no dividend yield given at the moment and a negative earnings per share, which is not a good sign. So Bank of Ireland is supposed to pay an annual dividend, but I have not received one and there's no yield given. So it's not a great one for the moment. Yeah, so that's it for the Irish dividend stocks. I'll have to go and check out why some of them say UK, but they're in Euro and they're based in Ireland, and then other ones will say Ireland, but they're in dollars and they're based in Ireland. And a huge amount of these IE ones are from all around Europe, and there's a few from the UK as well, especially the ETFs for some reason, the Vanguard ETFs and the iShares ETFs. And the SPDR ETFs. Hmm. Now that's a new mystery for me to unravel, is to figure out what the difference is. But I hope this was useful. I'm sorry I don't have many more Irish dividend stocks at the moment.